Well, cryptocurrencies are declining alongside equities as investors continue to keep a close watch on the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Bitcoin now uh, trading below that $37,000 handle, hitting a one-month low. Let's bring in uh, Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith, who's tracking the latest market action. And David, we've spoken about this for some time here, but it feels increasingly like Bitcoin trades as a risk asset as we watch the equity space too. Absolutely, Akiko. The uh, correlation with uh, Bitcoin and the S&P 500 actually hit its all-time high yesterday. And you know what that tells us is that it's a similar narrative that we've seen since cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin, have been sort of you know bought up by these larger, more uh, institutional investors. Um, you know, it's uh, the asset class is is focusing like a risk on high risk equity. Um, so that's actually unsurprising, even though it is at an all time high. Now, that being said, uh, the, the draw since the drawdown yesterday, which was fairly significant, almost 11 uh, percent in 20 in less than 24 hours, um, there has been some recovery. So now Bitcoin is trading. Uh, it looks like uh, right around uh, uh, six uh, thirty six thousand um, dollars. Ethereum also has taken a higher hit. Uh, other major cryptocurrencies that have probably been hit the hardest are uh, Avalanche, Cardano, and Dogecoin, which have each seen uh, more than a 15% drawdown on the day. Um, so I've spoken with a few uh, brokers who have seen trading, and when the sell-off sort of happened yesterday, um, they had sort of noted that there was increased selling. Um, and, uh, you know, this buy-the-dip mentality we've seen from crypto investors is not really shaping up right now. So it does seem like, um, you know, prices could fall further once we uh, see more developments on sort of the geopolitical situation that's happening right now. Um, another thing I'll add to is that um, cryptocurrencies are a lot more uh, liquid than other types of assets. They trade 24 seven, which means when something like this happens, uh, for any investor who holds multiple assets, the very first thing they can they can trade typically is something like a cryptocurrency because uh, the markets never close as opposed to something like stocks. So that's that's why we typically see cryptocurrencies leading a drawdown. Interesting commentary there. Yeah, especially given that the developments were overnight. Maybe those who looked at Bitcoin could have been able to predict exactly what was going to go on in the broader equities markets. But Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith, thanks so much.